refrigerant cycle. So we can start this wherever we want. Um, I'm just going to start right here. This is the condenser coil or heat pump coil. It, it does the same thing, just refrigerant can flow a different way with a heat pump. So um, this is cooling mode. So if we're looking at this in cooling mode, here's what's happening with the refrigerant. Um, liquid refrigerant is coming out of the evaporator, of the condenser coil comes out this way okay so it flows this way and it so it's a liquid so liquid comes out of the outdoor unit the heat pump or condenser um, during cooling mode comes out of there as a liquid comes through uh, to the indoor coil as as a liquid where it hits a metering device. Now that metering device can be a TXV or a fixed orifice. TXV is just um, short for a thermostatic expansion valve. Fixed orifice is just exactly what it is. It's just a little orifice that maintains the same pressure um, no matter what. An expansion valve adjusts the pressure um, according to the demand. So, but regardless, there's a metering device at the evaporator coil that causes an increase in pressure because um, the liquid refrigerant has to squeeze through this little bitty hole whether it be the expansion valve or the fixed orifice so as the refrigerant sprays into the evaporator coil it sprays and boils and as it's boiling it absorbs the heat um, that's being from the air that's being passed over that coil so after it sprays off you know these are little bubbles here after it sprays off it's boiling it boils off now it's a vapor so it comes out of the evaporator coil as a vapor that vapor comes through here through the through the uh, reversing valve that's what this is comes back to the compressor as a vapor the compressor compresses that vapor to a hot gas it just adds heat to it because we're adding pressure um, so we add pressure to it which adds heat to it comes out of the out of the compressor goes to the outdoor coil and with that fan blowing air across that coil you're um, condensing that um, hot gas back to a liquid so it condenses back to a liquid fills up down here condenses back to a liquid then you got liquid so it starts all over again so Basically, all you're doing is the refrigerant, because of the physical properties of the refrigerant, you're absorbing heat from inside and removing it outside. I mean, that's that's the simplest way to put it. But um, learning how what that refrigerant cycle is and being able to explain that to somebody, um, the way I always explain it is that, you know, first I tell them that we're absorbing heat from inside, removing it outside. But liquid refrigerant comes out of the out of the outdoor unit sprays into the coil and boils absorbs the heat from the air being passed over it um, then it's a vapor the vapor goes to the compressor where it's compressed and then it comes out at a higher pressure higher temperature as a hot gas and then it goes to the condenser coil where it condenses back to a liquid so the refrigerant is absorbing the heat from inside and then you're removing it outside. Um, this is how the, this uh, reversing valve works is it just has a, it just shifts back and forth with a solenoid. So in cooling mode, the solenoid is shifted like this. So your hot gas comes out and feeds your outdoor coil. Now, if you flip it to heating, it's going to shift like this. So now, as you can see, our hot gas comes out, gets pumped to, it is still a vapor, but it gets pumped into our evaporator coil. So now our refrigerant's flowing this way, goes to the evaporator coil as a hot gas. As you pass cold air over it from the house, that gas condenses to a liquid. <clears throat> so as it condenses to a liquid, it's now traveling this way so you just reverse the flow of the refrigerant, basically. So now it's traveling this way as a liquid. There's normally another metering device on the outdoor unit. It hits that metering device, sprays in there, 
and as it sprays it's absorbing heat from the outside air even if it's 40 degrees outside it's still absorbing heat from outside air so as it boils off and absorbs the heat um, it, it is a um, vapor because it was was liquid because it condensed back to liquid inside now it's condensed back to a, or it condensed to a liquid and then sprayed off and boiled off into a, a vapor so now vapor comes off and goes to the compressor where the compressor compresses that, that to a hot gas and it so you can see all it does is switch the flow of refrigerant so um, if you if it was not a heat pump and you did not have the reversing valve in there then it would just look something like here I'll just draw it here so your hot gas would go So now this is just an air conditioner. This would be an example of